All right, yeah. So. All right, obviously I'm a big bag of meat. And if you look at me for a few seconds, you're probably like, okay, this guy's clearly like straight. But obviously, like, my identity makes me less vulnerable to like a lot of different sorts of um, violence. And that's specifically why I went to the um, straight pride parade in the first place. I figured if I put myself like in between more vulnerable people and people who would be more likely to be victimized, that that's a useful, good thing I can do. So early on in the uh, straight pride parade, the first instance of violence that I saw was um, there was a very uh, small, skinny, um, like queer person who was rifling through their bag. And then the police just kind of pushed past their barricades pushed into our crowd, grabbed her, dragged her back behind their area, and then they were like, just like, searching her bag and like, yelling at her, screaming at her, and she was like, clearly very shaken. Eventually, they just stole her megaphone and um, like, released her back into the crowd, but like, she was clearly traumatized. It was very frustrating and just utterly fucking demoralizing. I was pissed. I witnessed many other similar things along those lines as I made my way across from, um, Arlington Station up to about 100 feet that way. But um, the next like sort of major thing I wanted to talk about is uh, when um, the police drove up with their motorcycles, there was a, like a line of protesters informed because like naturally that's what's going to happen when there's a big tense situation, and the police are like, we're, we presumably want to um, make everybody disperse, but we're going to do that in the most like bombastic, threatening way possible, and so naturally. What ended up happening is people just like made a big line and were like, no, we're not moving. And the police made no attempt to like tell them to disperse or anything, really. Until they like came out with the, um, until they um, then moved the bike cops in to like roll out their bikes like fucking uh, Roman shields, like a shield wall. And then um, the, police, uh, the police riot was immediately at this point for uh, anybody who was there. The police started using their bikes as uh, clubs to beat the protesters, and Captain Jack decided to uh, let loose of his... Hell yeah, fire Jack! Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, he, he let loose of his pepper spray for like probably the third or fourth time so far that day. And then, like, this is the part where it went really wild. It was like people on the ground, like, injured, people trying to run away. And so, um, this brings me to the, the point where I was assaulted myself. There was a couple of people on the ground just howling in pain, writhing in just terrible, terrible agony. So, and then I see uh, Captain Jack stomping toward them. And I knew, like, okay, this is my chance. This is what I'm here to do. So I put myself between them. And then uh, Captain Jack told me to move. I said no. He pulled out his pepper spray and held it in his hip for a second, like really threatening, being like, oh, I'm a tough man. And then he just like waited for me to react, waited for me to run away, did not happen. So then he sprayed me in the eyes, he immediately from like six inches away, it got right in there. The pepper spray was like dripping down into my nose and my mouth. And it was not pleasant, let me say. Um, if, for anybody who uh, has been pepper sprayed, not great. But still, I was resolute. Captain Jack then told me to move again. I said no. I couldn't really see him at this point. But um, when I like cracked my eyes open a few seconds later, he was gone, which was really puzzling. But uh, apparently I wasn't going to get arrested at this point, so that was great. Then uh, a couple of medics grabbed the person I was trying to protect and dragged them away. And that finally gave me a chance to like hobble back to about here and uh, like deal with my wounds. Since the uh, events of Saturday, I've been very manic, just completely collating all the data I could find, going over all of the pictures and um, like video I was genuinely shocked when I, when I realized that most of the instances of violence from the Straight Pipe Parade came from one specific cop. That's wild. Yeah. Yeah. But, uh... No pensions for fascist thugs! Yeah, no. Yeah. I'm glad to see that there's a um, significant amount of people who are also similarly fucking pissed. If we work together, we can uh, affect change. The arc of history does not necessarily bend toward, uh, bend, bend toward justice, but if enough of us climb on top and pull down with everything we got, then we can bend it. Thank you so much, Joey. Give it up, give it up one more time for Joey. And I bring up a good point after last week's uh, hate parade with white supremacists
leftists, fascists, Trump supporters. Um, it, it, it's no surprise that the media blamed uh, anti-fascists, uh, counter-protests, as being those who are a threat. Fuck that! Shut down the propaganda machine! And again, thank you so much. Without people power, we wouldn't we wouldn't be able to use all of our voices to tell them that is not okay in the city. Yes. But thank you again, Joey.